Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my entire fragrance collection. As you can see, I have my fragrances stored in my closet in several different perfume trays. I have three of them um, and they are currently overflowing. I have way too many perfumes. I just did a count and I am at about 176 perfumes. I would love to get that number down to somewhere closer to 100. Um, I am still a collector and a lover of fragrance, but I don't think I need this many fragrances and my collection has more than doubled since moving to Florida um, a year and a half ago. So I definitely need to do some decluttering this year, figure out what I'm wearing, what I'm not. So I thought today I'd just kind of go through how I store and organize my fragrances and then I'm going to change the camera angle and um, go through them with you uh, one by one, but without getting into a lot of detail or this video will be way 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 too long So I have three perfume trays. The first one here are mostly I would say designer fragrances um, And they're mostly French fragrance houses. So uh, that is what is in this first tray My second tray here, which I have one fragrance sticking out in the front that wouldn't even fit because I have so much in here these are mostly designer fragrances that are, are not from French fragrance houses. Um, I've got a few celebrity fragrances in here as well. And then in my last tray here, I've got my niche fragrances um, and a few others that just here are some in the front that didn't fit again that I took off of my fragrance tray. My goal will be to kind of declutter as the months go on. I'm going to do a monthly fragrance tray video. I'll probably take about 10 or 12 fragrances each month to focus on that I haven't been wearing a lot um, that are obviously seasonal at the time when I do it and try to figure out what I can declutter um, as I go on through the year. So that is my entire fragrance collection. Now I'm going to just take them out and um, tray by tray go through what I have currently. So starting with my first um, tray of perfumes, these are mostly my French designer fragrances um, and I'm just going to start right through here and go through with you uh, just tell you what I have and whether I'm considering decluttering it or whether it's a love and not going anywhere basically I have from um, YSL I have the from the Lieb line this is Lieb uh, the Eau de Toilette I also have Lieb this is the intense version I have the most recent um, Le Parfum version which I think is my favorite, as well as the original. And having all four is completely unnecessary, and that is something that I will probably declutter at least two of them this year. I gotta try them out and figure out which are my favorites, because I don't really even know. I've got a lot of Chanel to go through. I've got my Chanel number no. 19 Poudre, which I absolutely love. It's not going anywhere. I've got Chanel Coco Noir. Love that one. I've got Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. This is one it, that I have struggled with over the years because of the patchouli. It can give me a headache, but I do find this intense version to be a little bit better, but definitely one that I will be testing out on my tray. I've got uh, Coco Chanel, the original, the Eau de Parfum. Love this. Um, don't get a lot of use out of it, though, just since moving to Florida. It's definitely a fragrance I like to wear in the very cold weather. Um, so that may or may not be something I end up decluttering. And then I have my Chanel number no. 5. This one is the Eau Premier, which is my favorite version. I love all three of my Chanel number no. 5, so they're not going anywhere. Then I have um, Low, which is probably my second favorite, one that I like to wear a lot in the spring and summertime. And then Chanel number no. 5, the OG. Love her. Not going anywhere. Back here, I've got um, Paris Venise, which is a beautiful fragrance that I purchased last year and have not worn enough, so definitely going to be giving that a lot more use. I have Chanel Allure. This is a recent uh, nostalgia purchase. I love it, but I just have not been wearing it very much, so definitely we'll put that on the tray. I've got my Chanel Cristal Overt. This is a brand new bottle, but um, I purchased this after running out of my super large one that I had gone through over a few years, and I love this fragrance, not going anywhere. And then I have from the Late Exclusif line, I have 1957, which is a beautiful powdery iris fragrance, not going anywhere. My most recent purchase, number 22, really... Um, to me, this screams like Chanel in a bottle, smells a little makeup-y, powdery, but absolutely gorgeous, lots of aldehydes. 
Then I have Gardenia, which was my, um, not my wedding day, but my wedding time, like as I was planning our wedding and all the memories I have around that and then going on our honeymoon, this is what I was wearing and I absolutely love it. Then I have Chanel Beige, another one that um, I wear a lot more in the cool weather and just haven't been getting the use out of it. And I think that's all for Chanel. From Jean-Paul Gaultier, I just have La Belle and then I have the Sorry, the LaBelle La Parfum, which I love both of these, not going anywhere. Then we get into Dior. I have quite a few. I have Hypnotic Poison, one of my favorite Dior fragrances, not going anywhere. I have um, Dior Poison, Pure Poison, sorry. This one is a beautiful white floral, um, very heavy on the jasmine, and something that I love, but I just have not been wearing enough. So definitely one that I will try to wear more this year. I've got um, Poison Girl. This is the Eau de Parfum, which I prefer to the Eau de Toilette, but um, I do really like them both. I decluttered one because I felt like it was not necessary to have them both. They're very similar, but this one has a lot more vanilla and it's just absolutely beautiful. And then I have um, another nostalgia purchase. This is uh, Poison, the original, and I love it, or the Eau de Toilette, I should say, and I love it, but I just really don't find myself reaching for this very often either. Then I have my Dior Addict, which is a recent repurchase, and I've been getting a lot of wear out of this lately. Absolutely love it. And then from the um, collection, the Privé collection from Dior, I have Feb Delicious, which is a wonderful fragrance for the holidays. Been getting a lot of use out of that recently. I have Vanilla Diorama, which is a beautiful, boozy vanilla fragrance, also a big love for me. Amber Nui, another one that I love but don't tend to use enough because of the um, climate that I live in. So might think about at some point decluttering that one, we'll see. I have Gris Dior, which is one of my most recent purchases. And this is a pretty heavy on the patchouli rose fragrance that I like, but I don't know yet that it's a love. So definitely one that I would consider whether to keep or to declutter. And then I have Jasmine Desange, which is a beautiful jasmine fragrance. Can be a little bit, um, I don't even know what the word is, perfumey. It can give me a headache if I wear it in too hot and humid weather. So this is one that I have considered decluttering in the past and then just haven't, but uh, definitely one that I'll be testing out more this year. Switching into the front again, I've got a few from Ellie Saab. I've got Ellie Saab Girl of Now, love it. I have, moving over to my other hand, I've got Ellie Saab, Girl of Now Shine, another love, and I have Girl of Now Forever, which is a strong like, but I don't know that it's a love. The raspberry note in here is quite tart, and it definitely um, plays well with everything else, but it's not my favorite of the three, so I don't know that I necessarily need more Girl of Nows. <laughs> And then I have Ellie Saab Le Parfum, which I do think I'm going to end up decluttering since this one is very heavy on the patchouli and does give me a headache. So unfortunately that may go this year. I've got my Flower Bomb. Sorry, now I'm kind of reaching over and getting everything at once. I've got my Flower Bomb Original as well as the um, Ruby Orchid, which I prefer the Ruby Orchid to the original. So I think I will end up keeping this, but may end up decluttering that since I just haven't been getting a lot of wear out of it. I have from Guerlain, I have Mon Guerlain as well as Mon Guerlain Intense and don't know that I need them both. I definitely prefer the original to the Intense, but they're both such beautiful, powdery, lovely vanilla fragrances. I just, I can't st stand to part with them. So we'll see how I do with that. I have a fragrance from Violet uh, FR. This is, I forget the name of this, Avec, Avec Mor, Amour, which is a really lovely fragrance, but it is a roll-on, and um, or rollerball, I should say, and I really find it hard to smell this when I'm wearing it. It's very much a skin scent and something that I may not end up keeping, even though it's a beautiful fragrance. Um, sorry, I jumped right out of the Guerlain fragrances. Getting back to those, I've got a few more. I have from the Aqua Allegoria line, I have Coconut Fizz, which is a love, and I have Flora Salvaggia, which um, was a strong like. I, li I liked it a lot when I tried it on, but then I didn't wear it very much. It's a beautiful sort of wildflower scent, and I do love them both, but um, 
we'll see how this one does. This one may end up getting decluttered at some point. Then in the back here, I have Instant, Lit Instant Magic. I'm not sure if that's how you say this, but uh, this is a beautiful powdery fragrance that I had seen people say smelled like the adult version <laughs> of um, Love Baby or Love's Baby Soft, which I have loved that fragrance since I was very young and went out and got it, and it absolutely is just that. I love wearing this one to bed. Beautiful fragrance. And then I have um, Insolence, which is a really beautiful candied iris fragrance that I absolutely love. Moving on and over, I have one from Maison Louis Marie. This is number four, Bois de Ballancourt. This is a beautiful fragrance, um, definitely a nice warm sandalwood. I actually have it in a reed diffuser in my home as well as um, candles, and I actually think I prefer the home scent to the body fragrance, but um, we'll see how it goes. I definitely still like it and enjoy it. Then I have one from Cacharel. This is, I can't remember the name of this. This is Yes I Am, which is a beautiful um, kind of cardamom and caramel and beautiful sweet fragrances uh, mixed with florals that I absolutely love. It's not going anywhere. And then I have three fragrances here from Terry Mugler or Mugler. I've got um, Alien goddess intense which is an absolutely stunning fragrance not going anywhere i have the original alien um or not the original but the eau de parfum love that and then i have angel nova sorry i keep hitting my big ring light over here i've got angel nova which is another beautiful fragrance that i don't seem to wear enough it's a tart raspberry rose fragrance that um it's really pretty throughout the year and definitely I'm going to try to make more of an effort to use it this year. And then my last four fragrances on the tray are all from Van Cleve and Arpels. I've recently become a huge lover of this um, fragrance house and I've got four that I love. All four of them. I have got Bois de Iris, which is a beautiful powdery iris fragrance. I have Orchidée Vanille, which is a beautiful um, vanilla orchid fragrance that is um, very powdery, has a little bit of chocolate as well. Um, it's sweet but not overly sweet and it's very much a skin scent and I love wearing it throughout the fall and winter. And then I have Santal Blanc which is a beautiful sandalwood fragrance and pairs really nicely with the other ones. And then I have Bois Doré which is a really beautiful Tonka fragrance with also a little bit of vanilla and it's absolutely a gorgeous fragrance. So that is everything from my first perfume tray. I'm just going to switch them out and I'll be right back. Moving to my next perfume tray, I had to change the camera angle a bit as I was struggling to reach some of those fragrances. I'm sort of kneeling down behind the camera and this is not the easiest video to film this way, but I thought it would be a little quicker to get through all of my fragrances. So here we go, back in. These are the rest of my designer fragrances, beginning with um, Prada Paradox, which is really, really beautiful. One of the newest fragrances in my collection. A really nice white floral vanilla fragrance that is perfect all year round. I have Prada Infusion de Amand, as well as Infusion de Iris. I love both of these fragrances. Beautiful powdery scents that I love to wear in the evening before I go to bed. I have from Burberry Her, I have the Elixir, I have the original Burberry Her, and I have the Burberry Her Eau de Toilette. Do not probably need both of the Burberry Hers. I think I will probably declutter the original at some point and just keep the Elixir since that is my preferred version. Um, and then I think I am going to end up decluttering. I'll give it another shot, but I have not really worn the Eau de Toilette very much, and um, I find it a little bit uh, sharp when I wear it. It is a pear fragrance, but I find some sharpness when I wear this. It goes a little sour on my skin, so have not been loving that one very much. I have my Glossier U, beautiful skin scent that I love wearing all year round. I have Jimmy Choo, the original. Love this powdery, soft, uh, patchouli heavy, but somehow I can wear this patchouli and it doesn't bother me, but it's a pear fragrance and it's just absolutely stunning. 
And then I've got um, the Jimmy Choo, I can't remember the name of this, Jimmy Choo Fever, I think it's called. Um, this is a beautiful fragrance, but um, I can, it's a little bit heavy on like the cassis or some note that's in here that is very sweet, um, but almost headache inducing for me. So this one may get decluttered at some point. Moving into my huge array of Tom Ford fragrances. <laughs> I've got Tom Ford Lost Cherry, absolutely love, not going anywhere. I have Soleil Blanc, another love, not going anywhere. I have Jasmine Rouge. I like this scent. It's a very strong like, but I'm not sure that it's a love. It can definitely be a little too much on the Jasmine from time to time. Very sweet, but um, probably just need to give it another shot and see how I do with it. I've got uh, Fucking Fabulous, which is a beautiful fragrance that I have not found myself wearing even once since moving to Florida, so may end up decluttering. I have White Suede, which is a beautiful scent that, again, I don't find myself wearing much, so may end up decluttering. I've got Rose Diamalfi. I purchased this last year. It's a beautiful powdery rose fragrance that I like, but I'm not sure that it is a strong love, so need to give that one another chance. I have Santal Blush, one of my favorite Tom Ford fragrances, not going anywhere. I love me some sandalwood, and that is such an oody, beautiful sandalwood. This is uh, Tobacco Vanille, a love for me, not going anywhere. I, can, I find I can even get away with wearing this uh, in the evenings, in the heat and humidity, and I still love the way it smells. So that's one that I used to wear only in the cold, but now I'm wearing it year round. I have Black Orchid, the original, um, like, but not sure that it's a strong love anymore. I have uh, Orchid Soleil, which is another like, not sure that it's a love anymore. And then I have Velvet Orchid, which is, again, a strong like, but might not be a love anymore. I have Noir Parfum, which I absolutely love and am absolutely holding on to. Very happy to have gotten that fragrance as it's been discontinued. I've got Noir Extreme, which is a beautiful fragrance, but it is very similar to Noir Parfum. And if I were going to keep one or the other, I think I would keep the Parfum, but um, definitely need to wear this more before I decide whether or not to declutter. Then moving on to Narciso Rodriguez, I have quite a few cubes. I've got um, the Narciso Rouge, which is a very sort of lipsticky musk that is lovely, but I don't really wear it a lot, so that may be decluttered. I have, if I can find the front of it, <laughs> um, Narciso Ambre, which is a beautiful amber musk. Uh, also very lovely, but I don't tend to wear it a lot, so maybe decluttered. I have the Narciso Cristal, which is the most recent launch, and I think right now this is my favorite of the cubes. It is a white florally musk that is a little bit sweet and very girly feminine and i just really love the way it smells very powdery something i like to wear around the house and um yeah going to bed just a really pretty fragrance i have narciso the original which has a beautiful gardenia note um, this is a beautiful fragrance but again one that i don't find myself reaching for very much but i really do like it when i do wear it so that one is probably going to stay then I have Narciso Poudre, which is um, probably my second favorite right now of the Narciso Cubes. Definitely one that I love to wear around the house and going to bed. It's just a really beautiful, comforting, powdery fragrance. Getting into my Narcisos for her, I have Pure Musk, which is beautiful, not going anywhere. I have Pure Musk um, Rose. Is that what this is called? I can't actually remember. Musk Noir, sorry, Musk Noir Rouge. Uh, this is beautiful, but I think I prefer the Musk Noir, the original, even more. Oops, as I'm dropping them. As you can see, they are so cluttered. I started off with so much space between my fragrances, and now I just really need to declutter to get, so I can actually get in and out um, without making a mess. This is Pure Musk. Um, lovely, clean, really pure musky scent that I love wearing when I'm not sure what to wear. That is a really nice, clean, fresh, musky scent. I have Narciso for her. Um, this one is just beautiful. Uh, definitely a white floral musk that is great for kind of daytime, kind of non-offensive scent. 
and then I also have the that one was the Eau de Toilette this one is the Eau de Parfum and I if I really don't feel like I need them both and if I were going to keep one or the other I'd probably keep the Eau de Toilette and let this one go so we shall see okay moving on I have here some Valentino fragrances I have Donna Born in Roma love this fragrance and I have Born in Roma um Yellow Dream, which is beautiful with a little more of a citrusy note, something I like to wear more in the spring and summer, and I do really like both of them. I have Sarah, Je Sarah Jessica Parker's Lovely, which is a beautiful fragrance, but I find it so similar to the Narciso Rodriguez for her line that I don't end up wearing this much and I may end up decluttering. I have, oh my gosh, what is the name of this? Aquilina Pink Sugar. This is one that I wear very rarely. I picked it up for like nothing. It was like $10 or something. And it's a really pretty, but very, very sweet fragrance that I pretty much like wearing to bed or around the house. Nothing special, but not worth really decluttering. Then I have um, my Trish McAvoy number no. nine, Blackberry and Vanilla Musk. Love this fragrance. Have had this on and off throughout my life. And it's just a really beautiful fragrance. Next to that, I've got Ariana Grande Cloud. This is the intense version. I had the original in the smaller size, went right through it and ended up getting the, I think they only sell it in this size or maybe that's changed, I don't know, but I had to get the bigger one, didn't want the bigger one, but now I'm stuck with it. <laughs> but I will say that the um, I do prefer the intense. It's a little creamier and definitely lasts a little longer on the skin. So really beautiful alternative um, to MFK uh, Baccarat Rouge 540, as everybody knows. Then I've got a very recent purchase here from um, Stephanie Letta, who is an influencer who came out with this fragrance called Letta 22 Oris. I just received this recently and um, am still kind of testing it out and we'll let you know my thoughts on it soon. But uh, for now, it is a beautiful fragrance, not going anywhere. And then, well, I guess we'll jump into Replica, since this is my latest obsession. I have very quickly amassed quite a little collection here. I have Beach Walk, beautiful fragrance, the one that sort of started it all. Love it. Um, I have Coffee Break, another one that I absolutely love, beautiful lavender coffee fragrance. I have Bubble Bath, which is um, a weirdly comforting scent that somehow smells just like a bubble bath without smelling like a typical clean, freshy scent. So I've really been enjoying that. I have Lazy Sunday Morning, which is a really pretty, this is your typical very clean um, scent that I like, but I'm not sure if it's a love for me. I have Under the Lemon Tree, which is the most fresh, delicious, lemony lime fragrance that is so realistic and beautiful, not going anywhere. I have Jazz Club, which is a smoky, delicious, boozy fragrance that um, uh, is a strong like, not sure if it's a love yet. I have Whispers in the Library. This is my most recent acquisition, and I purchased this off of someone on Poshmark who didn't like it, and I, I'm the jury's still out on this one. I find it hard to smell on me, but um, it is a very relaxing scent if you like things that smell like woody and old books. <laughs> this is the scent for you. And then I have By the Fireplace, which is a beautiful fragrance, but I also picked it up in the candle, and I think I prefer it actually as a home scent more than wearing it, just because it is so warm outside. I really only can appreciate this indoors, but um, it is a beautiful fragrance. Moving on and moving a little quicker, since I'm going to run out of time getting so deep into these, um, I've got my Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I love that fragrance. That was the intense version, and this is actually the original. They don't really smell alike, but I love them both, so they're not going anywhere. Um, I got into light blue this year, and I have a lot of versions of light blue, so I have to decide which ones are going to stay and which ones are going to go. But I have Love is Love, which is sort of like the original light blue, but with some raspberry in it. Love it. I have Italian Love, which is like a woody version of light blue. I think this is my favorite of the Eau de Toilettes I've got here. I've got Light Blue Sun, which is like a coconutty version of light blue. Very pretty for the summertime. And then I have, of course, the OG, which um, is might be my least favorite of the bunch. I'm not really sure. I find that this one is fleeting on me, but it is a really pretty scent, and it is really nice to have these freshies 
living in a more kind of hot and humid climate. And then speaking of hot and humid, number three, Lampara Trace, if that's how you say it. Uh, this is a really, really beautiful melon fragrance that is so watery and delicious for the hot weather. I have Light Blue Intense. Love this one. This one definitely is not fleeting, stays on all day, and is absolutely refreshing and beautiful. I have Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme, which is a beautiful kind of marshmallowy, raspberry, um, white floral that is really pretty throughout the year. And then I have the intense version, which I would say is not really uh, like a stronger version. It's definitely its own fragrance. And this one is really sweet and heavy on the vanilla, and I absolutely love it. And finally, I think the last fragrance house on my tray here is Kayali. Um, got quite a few fragrances from Kayali to talk about. I have Vanilla Royale, the latest release, love it. I have Amber Invite Only, love this fragrance in the fall and winter. I have Vanilla 28, which is definitely a strong, strong love. I have Love Fest Burning Cherry, which is a strong, strong love right now. I have Musk 12, which I love wearing this one around the house and to bed, beautiful fragrance. I have Elixir 11, which is a strong like, but not a love, but something that I do like to um, kind of mix and match with my other, like I do like to layer my Kaeli fragrances as they instruct you to, to do. And um, I like layering this with a lot of things. It really deepens it up. So really a good one to have in your collection. And then I have Deja Vu White Flower, definitely a Strong like, not sure if it's a love, but it was a love at one time. Um, I think I just need to give it another chance. I have Eden Juicy Apple, which out of all of them is one of my least favorites. And I have tried pairing it with some of the other fragrances to kind of give it a little something else because it is very much just a fruity fragrance and I'm not that much of a fruity kind of lover, but um, it is very pretty, but uh, definitely we'll be testing that one out. I have Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. This is a really beautiful fragrance, not going anywhere. One that I love to wear in the summertime. Beautiful coconutty vanilla scent. And then I have Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. And I think this may be my least of all of my least favorite of all of my Kaeli fragrances. I just can't get on with this one. It is a rose. Uh, sweet <laughs> peppery fragrance that I like but I cannot say it's a love so holding on to it we'll try it out more and let you know if I end up decluttering that one all right that's all for the rest of that tray I'm going to grab my third tray and move on and moving on to my last tray these are all of my niche fragrances starting with Parfums de Marly I have um, from the Delina line I have Delina La Rose I have Delina the Original, and I have Delina Le Exclusif. I love all three of these, and they are not going anywhere. My most recent purchase from this line was Casilli. This is a beautiful kind of peachy floral that is, I think it's a love, but definitely needs more time on that one. I have, I can't remember the name of this, I think it's Oriana. This is a really beautiful whipped creamy um, scent with some orange blossom. Love it. Definitely not going anywhere. I have Athalia, which is a really gorgeous powdery iris fragrance that um, is another love. I have Meliora, another really beautiful. This one is like a berry scent, um, very, very fragrant and beautiful in the spring and summer. Definitely one that is not going anywhere. And then I have Safanade, which is a I would say orange blossom and vanilla fragrance um, that I like, strong like, but not sure if it's a love yet. So uh, definitely we'll be testing that one out. Moving on to Maison Francis Kirkjohn, I have, of course, the original Baccarat Rouge 540. Love it, as well as the X Straight. Love it, not going anywhere. I have Gentle Fluidity Gold, one of my favorites, not going anywhere. <laughs> I have Grand Soir. I should just tell you all of my MFKs aren't going anywhere. So I have Grand Soir. I have Feminine Pluriel, beautiful, beautiful powdery fragrance. I've got Oud Satin Mood, one that I don't wear often, but I love wearing it when I do. I have, um, this is Low a la Rose, which is the 
out of toilette version, I believe, of a la rose, which I like this one even better than the other one. So if I were to declutter one, it would probably be the a la rose. But they are both beautiful, um, fresh garden roses that smell absolutely lovely in the spring and summer. And then I've got 724. This is a very recent purchase, a really clean, um, fresh laundry type of scent that I just absolutely adore. So that's not going anywhere. Then we're going to move into Diptyque. This is another fragrance house that I got really into this year and I have way too much of, and I will definitely be decluttering some of these. I have Tam Dao um, EDT, which is a favorite, not going anywhere as well as Odwell EDT, not going anywhere. <laughs> I have, um, this is O Rose, which I was gifted this as part of a gift set and I do really like it. So I am definitely holding on to that one. I have, I think this is called Eau de Sons. Um, this is a beautiful fragrance, very citrusy, um, one that I didn't really get much of a chance to wear. I got it at the end of summer, but one that I'm definitely going to be um, trying out more this year. I have Lombre Duns Low, which is a really beautiful fragrance as a candle, but I am not sure that I love this one so much as a fragrance, so that is one I'm considering decluttering. I have Oline, which is a beautiful floral, smells like you just walked out into a garden full of fresh florals, really pretty scent, but not sure that I reach for it very much. I'm not really someone who loves just straight up florals, so <laughs> unless there's something really special about it, um, yeah, that it's just not my thing. And then Dosan, of course, is a uh, tuberose fragrance with other white flowers, really, really pretty, but again, not one that I reach for often. And back here uh, in the Outer Parfum, I have Philosicos, which is a really pretty fig scent that um, I've decided this year that figs may not be by jam, <laughs> no pun intended. So I think that um, I may end up letting this one go at some point. I have Orphean, which is a really beautiful, almost like smoky, makeup-y, vintage-y fragrance that I absolutely love and definitely need to wear more this year. I have Fleur de Peau, which is a really nice iris fragrance, not going anywhere. Three more outer parfums. I have Velutes, which is a really nice, sweet tobacco fragrance, but I'm really not sure if this one is for me, so I may end up selling that one. I have Eau Duel, which is absolutely my favorite fragrance from, um, from the line, and it is one that I will forever have, and I'm very happy to have it now in the outer parfum, as well as Tam Dao, another one that is just never going anywhere. So those are staying. Okay, moving on to Byredo. I have four from Byredo. I have Mojave Ghost, which is a beautiful fragrance not going anywhere. I have Gypsy Water, one of my favorite fragrances in my collection, not going anywhere. I have Blanche, which is another sort of clean, laundry, freshy scent that reminds me a lot of MFK 724, and I feel like I don't need both of them in my collection, so if I were going to let one go, it would probably be this one. I don't really reach for it too much. And then I have Balde Freak, which is another one of my favorite fragrances in my collection, not going anywhere. Okay, moving on to Commodity. I have two here that wouldn't fit. They were on my tray. I wear them all the time. I have Commodity Gold Expressive as well as Commodity Milk Expressive, and those are absolute loves, not going anywhere. I have also Milk and Gold in the personal version or scent space. Love them. Definitely a great way to wear these fragrances in some warmer weather, so definitely not going anywhere. I have Commodity Book, which I thought I was going to love based on a sample, but um, I think it's more of a strong like on this one. So that one I may end up giving away or selling. Then I have Commodity Velvet, which is an absolute love, again, in the expressive scent space. Then I have two from the um, plus scent space. I think that's called the bold. I have Milk. Um, I have it in all scent spaces because this is such one of my favorite fragrances in my collection, and that is not going anywhere. And then I also have Velvet Plus, which I think I prefer to um, the 
expressive version, but um, yeah, another really beautiful fragrance from Commodity. As you can see, I'm a huge fan. Okay, so my apologies for the camera angle changing. I keep hitting the camera by accident um, as I'm reaching around to get some of the fragrances I have leaning in the back. Um, I can see I have more that have fallen over here. Okay, I have a couple of fragrances from Bond Number no. 9. I have Greenwich Village, which is beautiful, not going anywhere. And I have Tribeca, another beautiful fragrance, not going anywhere. I'm changing the camera angle again, my apologies. Moving on to the last fragrance house, we have Jo Malone. I've got quite a few here. I have um, Blackberry and Bay. This is one that I love, but have not been wearing a lot since moved, moving to Florida, so may declutter. I have mimosa and cardamom. This is one that I love so much that you will see I ordered an uh, almost full bottle from someone on Poshmark um, as a backup. I have nectarine, blossom, and honey. Another one, uh, same story. <laughs> and then I have wild bluebell. This is one that I don't really love on its own, but I love to pair with other fragrances, so may or may not stay in my collection. I have Orange Blossom, same thing. I like to layer this with a lot of other fragrances, but not one that I wear a lot on its own. And then I have Peony and Blush Suede, and again, same thing. I don't really love this by itself, but I do love to layer this with other fragrances. Then I have English Pear and Freesia. This is a beautiful fragrance, but one that I do not find myself reaching for, so may end up decluttering. And I hit the camera again. <laughs> I have Wood Sage and Sea Salt, which is a fragrance that I love to mix with so many other fragrances or just wear it on its own. I have Myrrh and Tonka, which is a really lovely fragrance that I just got into last year and um, have been really loving over the holiday season. Tuberose Angelica, a really sweet, pretty tuberose scent that I don't find myself reaching for very much, so may declutter that. I have Nectarine Blossom and Honey. This is a full bottle that I purchased from someone on Poshmark as a backup for my smaller one because I'm running low. And same with this Mimosa and Cardamom. This one was probably about 75% full, um, but I got it for such a great deal. I was happy to take it off her hands and uh, we'll definitely be getting into that bottle soon. Then I have Dark Amber and Ginger Lily, which has been with me for quite some time. I think I'm about halfway through this bottle, and I don't know that I'll repurchase this one, but I'll probably just try to use it up. And then I have Velvet Rose and Oud, which is a beautiful fragrance that I don't find myself reaching for because I have MFK's Oud Satin Mood, which I prefer to this one, and they are very similar, but um, definitely a beautiful fragrance and one that I may end up giving away at some point. So that's everything I have in my fragrance collection at this time. I hope you enjoyed it. I will definitely be um, trying out some of my fragrances that I'm considering decluttering over the next months to come. I will take maybe 10 or 12 fragrances that I just haven't been using and put them on my fragrance tray so that I will try to get more use out of them. And I'm going to be doing a monthly perfume tray video so I can show you the fragrances I've selected to focus on each month and um, then what I end up deciding to declutter I will put on my Poshmark account which is at a little bit Laura on Poshmark and um, if you're interested you can check me out there and otherwise probably going to be decluttering and giving away a lot of scents as well so <laughs> we'll see how it goes but um, yeah really happy to take you with me on this journey as I try to condense my fragrance collection and just appreciate and enjoy the fragrances I have so always love to share with other people who understand my fragrance obsession so thank you all for watching and um, I will see you soon in my next video as well as my upcoming January fragrance tray, which will be my first fragrance tray of the year. Uh, we'll talk to you all soon and have a great week. Bye.